I didn't know my boyfriend was married till I got pregnant. Story time. Sometimes I be telling women that your husbands are denying you in public. It is not always the side chick's fault. You guys should come and hear this story. I met this guy in Benin Republic the day I went out with my friends because I didn't want to stay at home alone. It was a club. We met, we started talking and that was how our relationship got started. This guy never told me he was married. Did you ask though? time I go to his place to spend time, he used to give me like 17k to 20k sephers. Not quite long, I came back to Nigeria because I needed to sort some things out. When he called and we spoke, I told him I was no longer coming back to Benin Republic because of the work I was doing. It wasn't paying me well, but this guy tried to convince me to come back. After a month talks, I decided to go back, but not his place, so I went back to the apartment my boss got for us. But this guy always wants me to be around him every time, he even wants me to be with him in his house. Which cannot be possible because I go to work every day, but I go back to his place after work before I go home. We used to have countless fights because he always says I'm picking my work over him. And that's why I am unavailable to come over to his place whenever he wants me to come. After many months, after many months of staying in the Benin Republic, things were not going well for me, so I decided to move back to Nigeria. Mind you, the last time I went to Nigeria that he was convincing me to come back. I did, but he wasn't the one that paid for me to come back, he was my boss. And that was why I chose my work over spending time with him. So this time around, after explaining to him that I want to go back to Nigeria, he told me okay that whenever I want to come back, he's going to send money for me to come. Around May, he decided to come to Nigeria to surprise me and he called me, which I was so excited about why I was surprised. I mean, where does this man get all his free time if he's really married? Then he told me he came to Nigeria to buy some building equipment for his site. He left after three days before I got a message from my mom from church saying that if I get pregnant, I should not abort it because if I do, it could lead to death or have some serious issues with my health. That was when I remembered that I had not seen my period in the whole of May and this was already June. I went to get a test done and it was indeed confirmed that I was pregnant. 